Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Catherine, and today we are going to be doing a clean girl aesthetic video. And I know that a lot of people in my comments occasionally say, oh my God, you look so clean. How do you do your slick bags? What is your perfume collection? You look like you smell good. And I am here to deliver. So I have all of my categories. I will also give you guys a few examples and I will also show you guys some of my favorite Amazon finds that I feel like correlate to this topic. The first thing that we're gonna start with is hair. Your hair is so important. I do think that it differs between different hair types because everybody has different hair. What I will say is my go-to is a slick back. I feel like it automatically looks clean on everybody. Having your hair really tightly slicked back, honestly, for my curly girls, a little tip, slick backs look best on dirty, dry hair. I will do a wash and go, have my hair out for like four days, and then do a slick back. It's usually the second day and the third day that I do my slick back where it looks perfect. Like this is the third day that I've done my slick back and my hair is giving slick. Slick backs are super easy to do. They automatically give that clean girl look and they just look put together and your edges are the most important part if you have curly hair. Also, second hairstyle tip is a claw clip. A claw clip can make anything look cute, clean, and put together, I swear to God. These are some claw clips that are on Amazon that are super affordable. I have them in all neutral colors. They go with all of my outfits. Color coordinating your claw clips to your outfit is also super, super cute. Claw clips with braids, claw clips just with curly hair, with straight hair, doing a low bun and then putting a claw clip in it. It's just super cute. There's so many different ways that you can wear a claw clip. And then of course, wearing your hair down with a wash and go and a curly hair routine. I personally like to do a side part so that this part can be kind of like slicked behind my ear and then my hair is just curly. I feel like people have a misconception where they don't think that curly hair gives clean, which is completely wrong. As for the straight hair girls, um, honestly, I feel like y'all's hair with like a cute little white headband or a gray or black headband is just cute. Like, but it also does look good with curly hair too, don't get me wrong. I'm going to give you guys my entire Pinterest board and my entire Amazon cart. Like, I really want to give you guys some inspiration because I feel like this whole clean girl aesthetic is just really resonates with me. Like, I just feel like it's cute. It gets put together. I have so many ideas. Moving on to skin. Um, what I will say is a lot of people will say that you kind of can't give a clean girl aesthetic if you don't have like clear skin. That's, I mean, <sighs> I think that clear skin is a big part of it, but you can always cover that up. Low conceal, low powder. But what I will say is just try and stick to a good skincare routine. Don't do too much but don't not wash your face. I've heard a lot of people who have had problems with like a big skincare routine where they feel like the more skincare products they used, the worse their skin got. So honestly, I feel like it's best to keep things simple and kind of just stick to a face wash, a toner, and a moisturizer and a sunscreen. Or just wash and sunscreen. You know, the simpler the better. Just take care of your skin, make sure you're being clean hygienically, and just make sure that you're taking care of your face because that is what you're showing. So moving on to makeup. Makeup is super, super fun. You're basically like doing something, but not too much. Right now I have concealer on, I have contour, I have blush, I have powder, I have contour on my nose. There's gel in my eyebrows. I have mascara on. I have individual lashes at the end of my lashes and I have lip liner and lip gloss on. Yet, it just comes together in such a clean, simple look. I feel like everything is about subtlety. I feel like the dewy part of your makeup is also very important. I do have a lot of makeup tutorials up that kind of correlate to the clean girl aesthetic, I guess. But if you guys do want a specific tutorial, like a specific clean girl makeup tutorial, I will definitely do that. Here are some of the products that I use. Um, I use majority drugstore products. Um, Everything that I get is usually from Target, the Beauty Supply Store, and Ulta. I feel like also the lashes and the lip liner really, really bring your look together. Just a little bit of natural lash. I have two individual lashes at the end of my eyes and I feel like it just pops out my eye 10 times more but with subtlety. And then my lip liner is very, very nude. My lip liner almost matches the color of my lip and I feel like it just kind of makes my lips pop. Okay, so the next thing is teeth. Crest whitening strips are your best friend. They make such a difference. You can see it immediately. They are expensive, I will say that. They definitely work. They definitely make your teeth white. I have had multiple people ask me how I get my teeth white, which I never, ever, ever thought I would hear. I use Crest whitening strips like 
every so often and my teeth are pretty white i think that i am happy with the color of my teeth you need to have good breath and white teeth it, it kind of sets the tone you get what i'm saying you can't have stink breath but try to look clean so next is clothes i have so many like ideas and inspirations with clothes i feel like the clean girl aesthetic is very neutral but you can definitely mix it up with different types of colors i got this shirt from h&m and i got these pants from pretty little thing some of the places that i will recommend for finding clothes that are like minimalistic nice fitting pretty little thing depop amazon there are so many different clothes on amazon that are super super cute super simple i think that crew necks basic cute large fitting crew necks are definitely in the category of clean girl aesthetic some like physical stores that you can go to obviously forever 21 h&m zara um i personally don't really shop at like airy lululemon type of places but i've heard that you can find some stuff there honestly i get my best sweatpants from pretty little thing if i'm being honest like pretty little thing is where i get most of my sweatpants in general i feel like sweatpants are a great like combo with a small shirt i just feel like it's all about the neutrality having neutral outfits but also very nice fitting how it like sculpts your body i think that a lot of seamless clothes are really cute i have so many different ideas from pinterest you know sometimes less is more you get what i'm saying okay, moving on to your body your health is very very important because it shows on your skin i think that your health is very important what you're putting into your body eating right drinking water Drinking water is super, super important. Your face can de bloat. Oh, like, my face is probably really bloated right now. Your face is probably really bloated right now. I just think that that's really important because it does show, and you kind of do tend to look more clean when you're taking care of like the inside of your body. And, you know, working out if you choose to, but I feel like what you really like put into your body, like food wise and nutrition wise, that's the most important part, I will say. So, next is nails. These are what my nails look like. And some of y'all might think that that's not giving like clean girl aesthetic but for me it is i love long nails i feel like you can give that aesthetic with long or short nails but i just think that it like the design is what's most important you can never ever go wrong with a simple white french tip like it's just it's super cute it's white it's giving clean it's really really cute um, i will say that i feel like a stereotypical kind of clean girl version is like short almond white french tip and you know i am the type of really like long nails i've had long nails for like the past like six months at this point um i do feel like nails are a very important part only because i feel like it can just make a girl look so cute you know when you get your nails done and then you just you just feel like cute you feel cute holding your phone you feel cute typing you feel cute writing you feel cute doing your makeup like it's just that type of thing it's just kind of the cherry on top of everything like Absolutely. okay so the next one is jewelry i always get asked where i get my jewelry from these are from fashion nova super super cute they're like some really thick hoops that's my go-to i have many different types of hoops all hoops i feel like are just really really clean looking i wear silver jewelry personally i love silver jewelry i feel like it's really flattering on me it's cute this necklace is actually from a long time ago i got this from sylviax i think these bracelets up here i got from the thrift store but they're alex and annie bracelets this bracelet is a pandora bracelet pandora is a great place to go for some cute um jewelry that does not tarnish some of you might say oh well it does tarnish no it doesn't you just have to get it cleaned after a while um, and then it's literally back to being fresh. These ones are from Pandora as well. And then this front one up here is all, also Alex and Annie. And then I have my Apple Watch. Oh, and my rings. Pandora 2. Pandora 2. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my jewelry. You can get your jewelry from anywhere. But I do recommend getting jewelry that doesn't tarnish. Like jewelry from Pandora, Alex and Annie. And James Avery bracelets I heard are also really, really nice. Just a little bit of jewelry really does change your look. Next is perfume. Vanilla is always a go-to for me. I feel like some good clean scents are coconut, vanilla, cashmere. As you guys know, I get majority of my perfumes from Dossier. Love them. Shout out to y'all. 
Speaking of Dossier, they actually sponsored today's video. If you guys want a fragrance place that definitely gives you that clean girl aesthetic, makes you smell good, have a bunch of fresh scents, and very aesthetically pleasing, this is the place for you. Dossier is a fragrance company that creates dupes for high-end and more expensive type of fragrances and colognes. They have both men's and women's fragrances along with unisex. All of their fragrances are very long lasting and almost identical to the original. And today they sent me four different fragrances, Fruit Honey, Woody Sage, Sage and Black Tea Renew, and Woody Sandalwood. I have so many different types of fragrances from them and each time I get them, they smell so, so good. All of the information about Dossier will be in my description down below, so please go check them out and get you some fragrances. But Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works are my go-to. I will put a bunch of the ones that I have here. The TJ Maxx is also a great place to go for perfumes. They have some cute little like bougie looking perfumes for the low. And I feel like keeping a like the lotion and the fragrance on just like doubles the power of the smell. I want to go around really smelling like the scent. You get what I'm saying? Like I want people to like be like, oh, she smells good. So like once you get out the shower, you put that lotion on. If you really want it to last, you could put a little Vaseline on and then spray the um, the body mist or whatever right on top of it. You will smell good for a long time and make sure to spray it on your clothes as well because your clothes are gonna hold it longer than your skin will. And last but not least is hygiene. At the end of the day, you need to take a shower. At the end of the day, you need to brush your teeth. In order to give a clean girl aesthetic, you need to be clean. You need to have good hygiene, you need to be clean. And luckily for you guys, I have a whole hygiene video dedicated to my hygiene routine. I will link that in the description down below so that you guys can go watch that. But it is just a very in detail video on everything that I use for hygiene from head to toe. That should be the number one thing. So that's why I said last but definitely not least. This should probably have been the first thing that I said. That is all on my list. That pretty much sums up everything that I feel like I consider like a clean girl aesthetic for me. I hope you guys got a little bit of inspiration from this video. Maybe a little bit of motivation or something to kind of get yourself out of a rut, start feeling better about yourself, you know. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Down below, it will be my Amazon storefront for a bunch of Amazon finds for the clean girl aesthetic. I have a bunch of inspirations on there, so you should definitely go check that out and buy some stuff. And remember, I will also have my hygiene routine in the description down below that you guys can go check out too. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!